Do you still fight? Yes, I do. You still dangerous? <laughs> Many people consider me, you know, one of the great masters in my own field. <laughs> you slapped him pretty well at one point. Too. The crowd was like, oh, Steven. Yeah, I just, you know. The guys that I'm training in UFC, uh, you know, some of them have gotten their championship belts, world championship belts, because they've attributed that to me and me teaching them. So I still know a thing or two. <laughs> Where'd you teach that? Where'd you learn that? Where did I learn it? Well, I learned it, you know. Uh, you know, sort of a, a variation of that in Japan probably 30, 40 years ago, and I've been perfecting it uh, all these years. It's not exactly karate, it's just something that I created. And I learned that kick, you know, 40 years ago or 30 years, 45 years ago, I don't know, long, long time ago, and worked for the last 35 years or so to perfect it. I'm, I've been doing the martial arts for almost 50 years and I'm getting better. Uh, Joe Rogan said it was his, his best performance. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Are you not a Joe Rogan fan? I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fighter. I fought all my life. Right before he walked out, I said, you know, stay away from him for the first, you know, two, three minutes. Just kind of get him frustrated and then fake low and come high and do that kick that I've been teaching you and kick him in the head or the face. And, you know, and I was screaming at him. And I think he heard me. I was screaming at him. I said, do the kick, do the kick. You know, at that time, I really started working hard on that kick with him. Yeah. But, you know, with Machida Kun, because his, his waza is a little closer to mine, we worked on a lot of stuff. Well, Mr. John is a little bit of a friend of mine, and uh, he wanted me to come, and uh, I think he's a very talented young man. Right now, Anderson is perfect. He's in great shape. He's ready. I've been training the hell out of him. He's in good spirits, and I will guarantee he's going to win this one. Uh, so I'm going to have a few words with John in a minute, and uh, I hate to say this, but I think John is going to win tonight. Was that how you expected the main event to go, John Jones submitting Rampage, really? Why so? A lot of people weren't thinking that he was actually going to submit him. pretty good eye. <laughs> Is he getting better? He's already so good. Do you he's see him improve? Better. And I, you know, I got the eye. I would know. Yeah. yeah. He's getting better. I'm a fighter, and I got a good eye, and I know a little bit about technique. And he did exactly what I said, and exactly what I wanted to happen happened. And uh, I was very, very proud of him. That's what I've been telling him. <laughs> what do you mean? That's exactly what I've been telling him. I said, you know, you, you're too nice in the past. I said, on this fight, we're not going to be nice. When he fought v v Vitor Belfort, he did exactly, I was with him, you know, until seconds before he went out and did exactly what I had asked him to do and to the T, it was just perfect. And Were you impressed with his performance in Brazil? Well, it was exactly as I told him it would be. Exactly. You're almost like a, a visionary. You, you call all the fights. <laughs> they haven't been wrong yet. <laughs> Machir is like a son to me. And uh, so is Anderson. I don't want John to fight Leota or Anderson because those are my children. <laughs> so I'm just hoping that that doesn't happen. What do you think uh, Teo Shono has to offer to Anderson? Nothing. And if the sport was this popular perhaps 20 years ago, do you think you might have competed inside the octagon? Well, I wouldn't supposed, I was not supposed to do that, but. I may have been a bad boy and done it.